Hey, how's it going guys? This is your friendly host, Heavy Equipment Guy. So anyway, I want to come at you guys with another video on how to. Today we're going to be talking about the D6 RXL. It's a high track dozer. It's a pretty very, I'd say fairly nice dozer. It's got a little good bit of power. It's made by Caterpillar. And uh, it's really not that bad of a machine. Kind of want to just give you guys a little, you know, idea of what it looks like on the inside of the cab. Because I know some of you guys... You know, you, you, you see these videos out there and there's no real indication on what the machines actually do and and kind of things like that. Kind of, ooh, it's a little dirty in this thing today. So, uh, just kind of give you guys a rundown of what it does, how to, how to start it up, and basic operations. Just like most of my videos before, it's all basic operations. It's, it's no in-depth tutorials on what you need to do. It's just how to actually get the machine cranked up and kind of push forward. So today we're going to be starting with this one. Okay, so on this side, this dozer is a little bit different than most. They actually have the part brake on this side. So I actually didn't engage it. You got to flip it up to push up this little lever right here on the, the control. We got to actually engage the part brake. And then we can go ahead and start it up. But before we start it up, ay, ay, you loud bastard. <clears throat> kind of just go ahead and give you a rundown of the, the actual controls and the functions of it. So in order to to drive forward what you want to do is you can see F N and R same thing you want to go forward you just click it forward you want to go in reverse you click it towards you it goes in the reverse and then bring it back into the center gets it into the neutral position over here on our right hand side we have our control for our blade you can kind of see like I say it's not started right now so just kind of give you an idea of what is, what's going on in order to get the blade to come down what you're going to want to do is you want to push forward the blades are going to come down if you want to come up you push it towards you and the blade will come up and in order to, to tilt side to side basically what you want to do is if you want to tilt to the left you're going to kind of kick it to the left side and then the blade will pivot up like this so it'll put more pressure coming down on the left hand side if you want to go right to the right side like this pushing this way what will happen is the blade on the right side will come down and pivot the left side up it allows you to have you know basically pitch control this one doesn't have a pitch blade where it comes in and out this one's mainly for pushing so it doesn't have that that momentum that fall you know that to where you can kind of fine grade and fine tune these doses right here are mainly just like I say for pushing and just kind of getting the heavy duty work done over here on this side right here which we have it's for our ripper I don't know if you can kind of see it in the back it's a ripper here and what you do is it's just pretty self-explanatory up and down um, basically what we'll do is we'll go ahead and crank it up and kind of I'll go through the functions and basic functionalities of, of the machine and kind of go from there um, also too before we crank it up because it's gonna get loud in here and I like I, I might as well go through all the actual controls and functionalities over here what you have is your throttle control so if you want to throttle down idle down You'll kick, you'll press it down, and what it does is it brings your idle to a low idle. You want to idle up. Basically, what you'll do is you'll you'll push up. It gives it to a high RPM. And on this side, it's for your hydraulic lockout. So basically, what you want to do is if it's on the up up position where it looks like the the lock is uh, locked in place, there's no, nothing, no hydraulics or anything like that will go through. If you push it down, you'll have full function of the, the machine. What I like to do is I like to make sure before I crank it up. I like to make sure it's in the, the lock position, just in case it might have a far momentum from the hydraulic fluid. We want to go ahead and keep it from doing anything crazy once we fire it up. And especially if you got a bad pump and it might be sending things, a signal from either from the controls or vice versa, it'll, it'll actually stop that from happening. Down here on the bottom, it's pretty self-explanatory here. It's a brake. <clears throat> and sometimes like with this machine, because it has so, so much high torque, when you hit the brakes it'll actually jump even if you're going real slow and when you hit the brake it'll freaking push down and it's got a lot of stopping power to it for sure then here you have your throttle control so one like i say here's for your high idle so right here is actually you can fine tune it if you want to slow it down a little bit uh by pushing pressure to down to the floor it'll allow you to actually control your throttle and uh so let's go ahead and get this bad boy started up go ahead and let it sit for a second let it go through its process. Once you see that it's actually set, go ahead and turn the radio down. <clears throat> go ahead and fire it up. I 
as you can see here, it sh shows on an indication where we have our park brake set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the park brake down. You notice the light for the park brake actually disengaged. I'm hoping you guys can actually hear me. I might have to actually talk up a little bit louder. We'll go ahead and kick up the idle. So we got it right now to where we can actually control it with our foot. By pressing down on the actual accelerator, uh, decelerator, it, it'll stop the idle. If I come up with it, it's gonna idle high. So onto this side right here where you have these buttons. What this does is, if you can kind of see on the dashboard itself, it switches your gears. So you got third, second, and first. What that is, is the actual forward momentum of your, when you're going forward, it, it's kind of your speed control. Same thing going in reverse. So if I click it forward, you'll see that I'm actually starting to move now. And I'm in one, gear one. If I let it go, I'm gonna go forward. Kick it back, it comes back in a neutral neutral position. Also too, anytime you switch your gears, like from forward to reverse, you definitely wanna idle it down and come to a complete stop before you try to jam it into reverse or forward because you can actually do a lot of a lot of the damage to the actual machine by doing that in the process so same thing with reverse by clicking it backwards we're going to move forward there we go <clears throat> now if you want to actually turn the machine the same lever that allows you to go forward and reverse it all allows you to actually turn so if i want to go to my left hand side I'm gonna push forward, and the machine is gonna to turn to the left. If I wanna to go to the right, I push towards me, and the machine goes to the right, as you guys can see. It's gonna be kinda of hard to actually push some material with the, 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 the camera in my, my hand, but I'll go ahead and give it the best that I can and try to give you guys, guys a little bit of a demonstration. So like you said, right now we have our controls locked out, see, so we can't use no function of our blade. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna engage, and now we have functionality. And that's by the pictures of the actual machine. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the forward gear. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my blade down slightly. Kind of get it to where she's just touching the mud. And what I wanna do is I'm just gonna gradually go slow and feel the machine. As I'm, as I'm walking with the machine, I'm actually feeling the pitches. So when, if it feels like I'm going one way, I'm gonna actually use my hand on this side and kind of move my blades in the directions that I want it to go so I can actually push material. Right now we're just pushing it in the buck, getting the stuff out of here. Go ahead and idle it up a little bit so I get a little bit more power. Like I say, it kind of gives you guys just a slight idea of what goes on. And also too, I'll, I'll kind of give you guys a demonstration with the, tip, the ripper. Same thing with the ripper here. I know it's kind of hard to see. If I push it towards me, the ripper is gonna come up. If I push it away, the ripper comes down. And that kind of gives you a, a direction of what's going on. So anyway guys, I'm gonna go ahead and crank it down, shut it down for a minute. And I uh, hope you guys really enjoy the little tutorials. I know that it's kind of hard to, to do tutorials on heavy equipment and I'm trying to do the best that I can. I really appreciate the guys that are actually watching the videos. It really means a lot. And to the guys that are actually subbing too as well, that, that's really cool. Like, I mean, I'm just doing this to help other operators out, like especially new operators that's trying to come into the, the operating scene. I, I love heavy equipment. I've been around them for so long. And uh, just trying to give some knowledge to somebody else. And if there's anything you'd like to see or next, just let me know. I mean, I have tons of equipment out here that we can kind of demonstrate on. So, again, guys, thank you guys for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Put a like on the bottom if you do like it. If not, hit the dislike button. But anyway, guys, thank you guys again. And uh, I'll try to catch you on another video as soon as I can. Appreciate it.